every website should have a privacy policy. I'm pretty sure I'm not a you know a legal expert, but I'm pretty sure it is a legal requirement on every website. So how do you actually set that up on Squarespace? It's probably not as complex as you think. The, the complex or slightly more complex element is actually finding someone to or some program to generate your legal spiel. But on Squarespace, the actual setup is super easy. So what I'll do is I'll show you now. So the first thing you want to do is go under website into pages. In your not linked section, we're going to create a page. So you click plus, then you're going to go to page layouts and you're going to find privacy policy. We're going to be presented with a few ways to actually set this up. I mean, you don't have to follow this. You could do a blank page if you wish, but I'm just going to go with this one here. We're going to call it privacy policy. No idea why Squarespace gives it a one when there's no other privacy policy page, but it is what it is. Click on the cog, make sure everything is correct. So privacy policy, privacy, can't speak, privacy policy, privacy dash policy. And then in your SEO, you want to just get rid of this. Click save, and then we're going to edit. So we'll go in here. You can choose whether it's um, small width, large width, uh, medium width, and then you would obviously stretch this out like so. And then, see, this is this is why Fluid Engine's a bit funny sometimes. Anyway, I digress. So you've got your content here. This is just standard, a lot of Ipsum text. What you then need to do is replace this. So we've got it set up. We want to make sure this is a H1. Probably remove the full stop. We've got privacy policy. Great. Hit save. And then we will sort the mobile version. So let's make sure that there's no additional space. Lovely jubbly. Hit save. Now, the next thing that we need to do is actually generate a privacy policy to go in here. So we've done the, the easy part. Now you join me on Termly. So if you go to termly.io, you'll come to here. They offer a free um, privacy policy. I think if you want like the super airtight, you know, high-end stuff you do have to pay but basically you can generate it it's then going to walk you through all the steps so uh, website I, I doubt you're going to be using apps next i mean i'm not going to do the whole thing but basically it will just prompt you i mean you can see them on the left hand side here these are all the prompts it's going to take you to and you can even preview it here it's going to generate it for you copy it you're going to paste it into the privacy policy and that's pretty much it. Now, I don't know if Termly actually guarantee that this is per like 100% perfectly legal, will hold up in a court of law. I don't know if they can do that, but it's pretty solid. And I'm not an affiliate, by the way. Like, I'm not trying to peddle this to anyone. I will put the link below, but I'm not, I'm not getting any kickbacks. This is just a decent um, privacy policy generator. Anyway, that's just one you can do you know, other, other services are available. And, you know, if you really, really want to go all in, you can get a, a lawyer to, to draft that up for you as well. But anyway, that's how you do it. Build a privacy policy page, put a text block in, go to Termly or something similar, paste it in, you're good to go. Usually I'll link to it in the footer. And well, a hundred percent of the time I'll link to it in the client's footer because that's where, you know, it should be. And yeah, nice and simple. Hopefully it was simple. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.